Good day to one and all. This is Dr. Sivaraman of iNowIndices.com. So I'll be presenting Tracking the Forex Market Together, Part 1, between 8 and 8.45 GMT. And it is a simple market tracking technique. Once a month, I give this particular webinar and also effective trading strategy. So ultimately, I'll be giving more importance to that of the trading strategy. I'll explain to you in detail how the trading strategy has to be effectively done in the market so that consistently we'll be able to earn from the other market. So first of all, we have to see the simple market tracking technique. During that of the Japanese session, I gave the forecast for this particular week. And today, 9th September, the market was expected to make a dip and firm up move during that of the Japanese session. And towards close of the Japanese session, if you, you see the live market quote page, they just gained the level. And afterwards, they are expected to make a swing and slide move during that of the European session. And during that of the US session, they are expected to swing and firm up and rise. And the overall trend in this particular week, the market is expected to make the upward trending move. So in line with that of the upward trending move, we will try to take our trading decision that is based on the forecast. In the event if the forecast goes wrong, what we have, our trading strategy. And so this is the overall forecast. Then we will fine tune the overall forecast using the market trading technique. What is a market trading technique? We note down the initial lows and the highs set in the market around 3.30 GMT. That is during the Japanese session. 3.30 GMT, we note down the initial low and the high they set for the day. Then later on, they try to breach the low and go below or breach the high and go above and increase the spread between the high and the low. This is what you come across the high and the low. And so if you look into that, the high was 1.2900 in the case of euro that has not breached from start of the Japanese session from 3.30 of Japanese session at uh, the low was 1.2877 but it came down to 1.2867 during that of the uh, Japanese session after 3.30 GMT they just made a brief downward move below that of the initial low and started gaining the level and started gaining up to closer to that of 1.2829 uh, sorry 28 nine zero level then from there they quickly made a dip and then they breached the low what they are set during that of the japanese session 1.2867 and came below and they are just staying below that of 1.2867 and in just about five ten minutes they are expected to gain the level this is what has stopped and they try to do it and then go up then in the case of gbb 1.6082 was the initial low. They came down up to that of 1.6064 and then started gaining the level and breached and gone closer to that of 1.61 level. 1.6109 is the high that has not reached from that of the Japanese session. And now they are holding above that of the initial low. So when they hold above that of the initial low from the start of the session, that is 30 minutes, 7.30 GMT, the European session starts. Now it is 8 GMT. So when they hold up to that of 8 GMT, then what we do is we try to take a buy near that of the low. We try to take a buy near that of the low and try to book profit during for the rise. So they are not breached the low, they are not breached the low, what they are set around 3.30 GMT, and they breached the low during the, the Japanese session, started firming up, but still, from 7.30 to 8 GMT, they are not breached the low. So, which indicates that they wanted to firm up GBP. Euro will follow that, and also they are just making small swings in the case of Euro and GBP in order to handle Euro GBP cross. Then in the case of yen, 105.95 is the initial low, 106.28 is the initial high. They breached the high and staying above that. 
So in the event if they stay above that of the initial high for more than 30 minutes from the start of the session, then we can try to do a buy above that of the initial high and expect the market to go up and book profit. So normally what happens, people call it as a breakout trade and I call it as a technical trade. Once they breach the high and stay above that of the high, we can do a buy and sell trade once it stays above that of the initial high for more than 30 minutes we can try to take a buy above that of the initial high keep a stop or the hedge order below that of the initial high and try to profit when they quickly make for the rise and similarly when they breach the low and stay below that of the low for more than 30 minutes but in the case of euro they are not breached it by 730 gmt but they breached only by about 759 GMT. So it is not actually a technical trade condition that they breach the low and stay below that low for more than 30 minutes. Then we can do a sell and buy trade. But here they're just handling Euro GBB cross and subsequently Euro is expected to gain along with that of the GBB. Then in the case of USDCHF, the low is 0.5. 9351 initially but came down to 50 and the high was 71 they went up to 80 and then they are coming down and the spread between the high and the low is less than 40 pips so we will not initiate a trade and in the case of canadian dollar 1.0995 is the current level 1.0972 is the initial low and 1.0986 is the initial high and for 30 minutes, they are staying above that of the initial high. We will try to take a buy and sell trade in the case of CAD. Australian dollar, it is staying above that of the initial low. So we can do a buy and sell trade, but overall trend in the case of Aussie is expected to be downward, as I explained during that of the Asian session. So we will not try to take a buy position there. So we will go in for the trading and then subsequently I will explain to you the other concepts. Now as I explained in the case of Eero, this is the only code page, this is the only tool we use in order to read the market. Later on we note down the initial lows and the highs set around 3.30 GMT and use it for the entire day till end of US session. So as far as Eero is concerned, it is staying below that of the initial low 1.2977 and it is staying around 1.292860 and 59 they found the low they stop breaching the low for 30 minutes then we'll try to take a buy and then they are expected to go up but in the case of gbp they are expected to go up so we'll try to take a buy position but since the market is making small swing we will try to keep five pips below that of the market here yeah, buy limit order And we will keep a buy sell stock for the buy limit. A sell stock 1.6060. So once they come down, then we might get the limit order filled, then it becomes a position. We will watch in the case of Euro and later on enter into it once they stop cutting the new low 1.292859 for 30 minutes. So around 7.59 they just breach and up to 8.15 or 8.20 we will watch. If they don't breach then we will try to take a buy. Then CHF I told you the spread is not there so we will not enter. In the case of Yen I told you that we can take a breakout technical trade, a buy limit the initial low was 106.28 and currently trading around 106.3435 so we will try to keep five pips below the buy limit so 106.29 i am just keeping a buy limit with the Sell store. Currently, 
30 pips below which will be hundred and five point nine nine hope you are able to understand why i am taking a buy position in the case of zero sorry gbb as well as a buy position in the case of usdn in the case of gbb since they are not breached to the low what they are set and also it is staying above that of the initial low for more than 30 minutes from the start of the session the session started by 7:30 gmt up to 8 GMT, they are not breached, so I am taking a buy. I kept a buy limit order. Now, if you see that, you know, they are just stop cutting the new low and they are holding it. Still, it is below that of the initial low, 1.2877. So we will give some more time, another 10 minutes, and watch if they are not breaching 1.2859. Then we will try to take a buy. and all we are keeping a limit order 5 pips below the market so that we will be able to fine tune our entry then in the case of chf the spread is not there for 40 pips so we will not enter in and in the case of canadian dollar it is almost 30 pips but we saw that 1.0986 was the initial high Market is staying above that for more than 30 minutes, similar to that of Japanese yen. So we will try to take USD CAD. We'll keep a buy limit order. Is again a technical trade. <coughs> Just about five six pips below that of the market, and we are buying it above that of the initial high since it is staying above that of the initial high thirty pips below. One point zero nine five nine. Then, as I explained, Australian dollar is expected to rise less and they drop more. We will not do a buy and sell trade here. Instead, if it is if it comes closer to high, we will try to take a sell and buy trade. So, among these currencies, we have taken positions or we have kept the limit order in three currencies. And in the case of GBB. we are doing a basic trade buy closer to the of the initial low and trying to book profit during rise and in the case of usdn and usd cad a technical trade buy above that of the initial high buy above that of the initial high try to book profit during further rise since they stay above that of the initial high for more than 30 minutes from start of the session and in the case of euro they not cut the New low what they are set, and they have come up to one point two eight six five six seven, and so next small dip uh, by eight thirty GMT. We will try to it is eight seventeen. We will watch for another five ten minutes and then try to take a buy position. They just created a bearish feel by making a small dip and hit the stops below the level of the low and started gaining the level. Normally, what they do is session start. They make the stop and move. So by 7:59, 30 minutes from the start of the session, they just made a downward stop. And in the case of euro, they would have noticed a lot of people holding long position and kept the stops closer to that. And then they hit the stops before making a rise. That is what happening here. So we are able to understand what they are trying to do it with the help of the live market quote page. It is equal to that of watching the tick chart, but. If you watch the tick chart, it will be unwieldy. The charts will continuously rise and drop. You will not be able to do any sort of study. Whereas if we have the levels, we are able to easily relate to that of the high and the low, and also the net change. What is net change? Net change is that level at which the market is when compared to that of previous day close, U.S. session close. That means yesterday during that of the U.S. session close. 
euro was 25 pips above the enough current level that is what it refers to so that means euro is currently 25 pips below that of yesterday's closing level and usdn is 31 pips above that of yesterday us session closed level gbp is just 3 pips above that of below that of yesterday's closed level if you see that by looking at that of 1.60 when you see a new level we tend to become bearish no actually they just made a drop of only about 25 pips during the japanese session that is why i just placed a blog post in fxtrade.net is a market look weak or bearish falling night or feel like keep away because many of the people are giving such remarks in the blog we better keep away from that other gbp or it is like a falling knife and we can see that further drops can happen etc and so when the market looks weak people willing to sell during the pullback that is why i thought that instead of blindly giving explaining the three web webinars i am going to present i wanted to explain in detail how the players create the bearish feel and buy when the traders sell in distress and similarly you know about one and a half months back euro was around 1.39 1.40 they, they created the bullish feel and then started selling to that of the traders so they always create the market sentiment and act against it of the traders now you see visibly they are gaining the levels in the case of gbp even though we are not taken a buy still doesn't matter we are able to understand that they are acting as per our expectations so this is what we need to find we can fine tune it and keep about 5 pips below the market the order if it is not filled we can enter into the order market during the next dip okay there is no hurry in taking positions we can always look into that and see how every 30 minutes they are making the moves in the market then later on i'll explain to you with the help of the other slides how exactly we have to read the market let them just make one small form of move later on they will make a slide then we'll see that our order gets filled no because normally they just make such gains and dump some positions now so we use the derived forecast as a base for us to find out whether we have to do a buy and sell trade or a sell and trade buy sell and buy trade and mainly we understand the long term trend in the market with the help of the forecast the forecast says the long term trend in the case of euro and gbp from now on is up upward but even though many analysts might say that there could be further drop in the case of euro and gbp you know when euro and gbp were at the higher levels about one and a half months back i was explaining that they are going to drop in a big way but there was no symptom of usd gaining at that time but later on now you find even a small somebody sneezes they drop the market and so boa governor or nobody should sneeze if they sneeze definitely they will drop another 100 pips that is how the market is the players use such things as an excuse and will say that uh, the boa governor is dawish so he might be having a common cold but they will say it is dawish he is in a low tone so the market has to correct so they give all attributes in the market so these attributes are meaningless after a day or two in order to create the sentiment they try to act like that or make such moves in the market and you know that on monday yesterday they opened it with a gap in the case of gbp and started dropping it and immediately people thought that there is a gap and they will try to fill the gap during the gap we will be able to sell and thereby the market will be coming down so these are all the conventional things and the players know very well how the traders read the market and what the players intend to do is they just made one extended downward stop and that's all 
last week also during my asian session webinar i explained that during that of the this week after making the downward move for that of the boe and ecb interest rate decisions and explained that they are expected to make a gain for the decimal non farm payroll so the same way they gained it and monday they made an extended downward stop in the case of gbb we know very well gbb is a currency used as a sentiment creator and now they simply say that scottish voting all the excuses you know it's like a greece problem greece crisis they used it at the time euro came down to this level afterwards what happened to the greece crisis nobody knows and they gained up to 101.40 similarly now they used this as a trigger for the market and started making the drop on monday as an extended downward stop and, and they continued during that of the japanese session today started gaining the level so once they gain we'll find that slowly they are gaining the level from tomorrow on we will find the gaining will be much faster and everybody will say that the momentum has come into the market we will try to do a buy and sell sell and buy trade and things like that somebody will view it as a pullback or a dead cat bounce back and then we'll try to take a sell on pullback and later on we'll find the players trapped with such short sellers after the drop so similarly they try to trap the buyers after the rise so what they do is in shift in trading zone that's what i was explaining earlier that they do the higher level consolidation with the upward stop and and such upward stop ends might appear that they are bullish when they are showing new highs similarly now they are doing the lower level consolidation with the downward stop and when they make such downward stop and during the wee hours when the volume is very less immediately people think that the market is bearish but the players simply hit the stops and start buying it and gaining the levels for no reason and they don't give any sort of explanation for such rises and simply they will say technically the market is oversold so it is gaining for as a relief rally or whatever the terms and ultimately what is more important for us is to read the intentions of the player so to read the intention of the player we note down the initial lows and the highs around 330 gmt that is what i showed it in this particular slide we noted down the initial lows and the highs and on a weekly basis i show it to you and you can also note down the initial lows and the highs and find out what type of moves they are doing it in the market then later on we'll come to the, the trading strategy so in that we need to understand the timings used by the players somebody say there is no voice am i audible or not i'm not able to understand i think i should be audible because nobody else has complained or admin has not they are all okay fine thank you then the market timings are very important in this market timing we need to find out what how exactly the players have divided the market into three sessions it is not that what we have done it because ultimately we try to read the intentions of the players so when you want to read the intentions of the players we need to learn their language only then whatever they speak we will be able to understand and if you are very rigid and say that no 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 i will use only my new york open time or london open time europe open time then we will not understand what the players are trying to do it because we try to use our language to communicate whereas they speak in a different language so when they are talking in a different language using different time frame for each session so it is ultimately essential for us if you want to be a successful businessman and you have a shop in a place wherein the multilingual people come as visitors it is better to learn as many languages as possible and communicate to that of the buyers so that your sales go up that's what you come across world over people going for but in trading we never think that there is an opponent against us we all think that we are all trading against each other when i am taking a buy somebody is selling there is what we simply imagine who is that somebody who is why he is so foolish of selling to me when i am willing to buy at this level i am also using the same chart 
I am also using the same technical analysis. When I am trying to buy, why he is selling to me? Is he a fool or I am a fool? That is what the question. But we need to understand that the players are against us, but they are invisible and they are having the money power. They move the market. So we need to understand what time frame they are using it. And here you find the time frame, Japanese session 0030 to 7 GMT, 730 to 13 GMT and 1330 to 20 GMT is the US session. So from the European session starts from 730 to 8 GMT, we marched the market. They are not breached the low in the case of Euro, in the case of GBB. That is why I initiated a buy limit order in order to find out whether they are giving a fill or not. And later on, we will be able to book profit during that of the late session because during the early and the late sessions, they handle the majors and during that of the mid sessions, they handle the crosses. So if you want, if you take position in the case of Euro and GBB, you can only close it during that of the late session, but not during the mid session. Mid session, if you try to close it, the profit will be less. But if you close it during that of the late session, you will be able to maximize the profit or if you hold it for the entire day. So we give understand the importance of the market timings. Then these timings are very essential in order to understand the type of move they do it in the market. So this is the basic trading strategy. I explained it. So we note down the initial lows and the highs around 330 GMT and find out also the net change, how far they had dropped it. If they dropped more than 75 pips, the recovery on the same day is unlikely. They dropped only about 10 to 15 pips or 25 pips. They are only doing a stop and before making a reversal in the market. And if the market is near the low, not breach the low for more than 30 minutes of our observation, we try to take a buy. If it is near the high, we will try to take a sell. Sell. If the market is in the middle level, we don't enter it. Also, we, during the early and the late session, we trade the majors. And during the, the mid session, we simply watch the market. Okay. Now, you find the type of moves, what they do it. So, I explained to you with the help of the session timings that there are two types of moves they do it which happens in less than 30 minutes namely the stop and move and the false move the stop and move is the one they do it during that of the early session during the early session they try to go above that of the initial high and come down in less than 30 minutes or go below that of the initial low and come up. That's what they had done it in the case of Euro and GPB during the, the Japanese session. Now during the, the European session, Euro they just made a drop below that of the initial low around 7.59 and we had to watch for 30 minutes and if they don't breach the new low then we can take a buy. That is what I explained to you in the early session. In the case of GPB they are not cut the low or breach the low for 30 minutes from 7.30 to 8 GMT so we can straight away go in for a buy. But what we do is we try to take a buy about 5, 10 pips below that of the market or keep an order so that when they make a small swing, our order might be filled so that it will be a fine-tuned entry. Nowadays, the market is making subdued moves. So if we fine-tune, we'll be able to get a better profit. That is what we need to understand with regard to before stop and move during stop and when they are going below and stop cutting it for 10 minutes you can take a buy if you become a smart trader until such time you wait for 30 minutes once you understand they just make a small dip and stop cutting it for 10 minutes you understand it is only a stop and during the, the early session we'll try to take a buy immediately we'll be able to keep stop at entry and the false move is the one they come up to that of the high and reverse it during the gap time or up to that of the low and rise it. So during that of the gap time before the start of the European session, they made a small dip in the case of Euro and GBP. If those of you uh, track the market using the live market code page, you would have noticed it. They made a small dip during that of the gap time, indicating that they wanted to make a forming up move during the session. So why it is called as a false move? because they pretend as if it is going to drop, but actually they wanted to rise. 
so that is why it is referred as a false moon then comes the extended moon so the stop and and the false moon are very quick moon they try to quickly gain or drop the levels and also another move which is more than 30 minutes up to 2 hours which is referred as the extended move and what they do is they just breach the low and go below and stay below that of the initial low for more than 30 minutes up to 2 hours and start gaining the levels that is why i told you in the case of euro they are staying below that of the initial low 2877 still they are below that so that means they are making a downward extended move before making a rise so before making a rise they will make a small false dip closer to that of the low and then gain at that time you can try to take a buy then quickly will be able to book profit during the late session itself so they gained the level as i told you they simply gained the level made an upward stop and above that of the initial high 1.6109 and started making the drop so if you watch carefully that either way they make the stop and moves and widen the spread at the same time they try to book profit you know so that is what we need to understand so when they simply gain if you just go and enter into it thinking that it is a running bus we have to enter it otherwise the bus will take off straight away that means bus they will just go there and go around somewhere and come back to the same level in order to accommodate some more people so you need to understand that they may pretend as if the bus is going to start but they will just roam around and come back in order to take more people so that is what they try to do it so understand the intentions only with the help of the live market code page you will be able to understand so it is actually the players trying to take buy position against us they want the traders to sell how they can do it if they make a small drop or a big drop quickly the traders will come and voluntarily take a sell position thinking that support is breached and later on the market will make for the fall they will give one drop profit then second drop if the traders sell they will simply hold it the traders what they do is okay i will try to book profit when they show about 10 20 pips next time they will think that there might be a bigger drop because if there is no pull back they will increase the quantum of sell so that they will be able to reap a big harvest from the other market take about 10 lot sell thinking that even if they drop about 20 pips doesn't matter the market is very bearish i will be able to get a huge profit sell like that 10 lots and see that get struck and going for a short covering and during the drop you would have taken one one position and made a small profit in 10 lots you would have made a big loss this is what happens in the market then the players say or the traders say that i am an experienced to trade 80% of the trade i earn but in volume it is one or two lots and 20% of the trade i lose wherein the volume is 10 10 lots so you can understand what will be is equity so ultimately what is more important is understand how the players are creating a cunning situation in the market and don't become cheated only then you will be able to earn from that other market if you get cheated how you will be able to earn you will only lose so the extended move is the one again it is a quick move they just quickly gain the level quickly drop after two hours and then make a downward intentional move so we need to understand all slow moves are intentional move quick moves are false moves so stop and false move and the extended moves are all cheating moves they try to misguide the traders by making such moves intentional move is the real intention of the player so the real intention of the player if you see day by day you will understand that they want to gain from the dropped level earlier i was telling you if you see the intentional moves low moves were only drops till last month now you find they slowly gain and 
make a quick drop and then slowly gain that sort of moves they are doing it in the market so watch it carefully and try to understand when they are doing the intentional move the intentional move is the one which happens for more than two sessions on the start of the third session so if they normally do it during that of the european session so once they do it during that of the european session intentional move early or the late european session then they continue with that of the us session and the next day the japanese session so first session second session then the third session they will make one extended quick move and reverse the market so they don't continuously drop or continuously rise in the market it might appear like that but every day you will be able to see the buy and sell as well as sell and buy trade opportunities provided you enter up the appropriate time so understand it using the market timing then find out what sort of moves they are doing it and the swing is the type of move they do it during that of the <coughs> mid session between the high and the low without breaching the high without breaching the low they make small swing up and down and that is known as the swing without breaching the high or the low then finally one more move is that extended stop and which i failed to mention mention here because that happens only during trend reversal and now you come across the extended stop and move like yesterday how they just made a quick drop in the case of gbp normally they do the extended stop and in the case of gbp in order to create the market sentiment why they choose gbp rather than euro volume is relatively high in the case of euro when compared to gbp because GBP is a volatile currency. Many of the traders don't commit positions there. Instead, they take euro position as safe trade, and they use the GBP. And also, when they made a downward gap opening and then subsequently make a drop and hold, immediately traders can change their mindset to bearish, so that they are able to do it and hold closer to the low and without breaching the low. so you find that slowly they are accumulating the buy positions why they gone up to this they just gone up to that high breach the high of the stops or the short sellers and afterwards come down again to keep it so that the short sellers will think that okay it is going to drop let me take a sell again so that is how they are inducing the traders and people will immediately say everywhere in the comments no oh, hero looks very weak Euro does not have a strength to go up, as if it has got a strength on its own to go up. Somebody has to push it higher. No, it is only an inanimate substance, inanimate ratio between euro and USD. How can it move on its own? Somebody has to push it. But we give an attribute that GBP does not look strong. It is not in a position to climb up. So when you use such words as if it is having a life. then we our emotion is triggered we feel like taking a sell so these are all some of the gimmicks in order to induce the traders to become bearish and induce the traders to become bullish etc keep that in mind now let us go look into that of the orders what we have placed 1.6090 is filled they came down and then started going up so this is called fine tuning so the buy has become a position now in the case of euro they are not breached the low what they are set so we will buy at mark 1.2873 and we will keep the sell stop 30 pips below okay now i explained to you that the type of moves are to be followed when they are making the moves in the market and later on enter into the positions we see that they slowly gain the levels and we are able to see the profit then we should not become greed and simply relax ourselves 
and that is not the way because market means volatility market can suddenly reverse and suddenly go up and things like that <coughs> so what is more important for us to understand that market is risky suddenly they can make a dip and they can rise we use the stop they can hit our stop and go up then we miss our opportunity of booking profit so many of the traders avoid keeping the stop but instead use the hedging order or sell stop in the meta trader for platform then what happens you find in the event the entry stop or the buy stop or the sell stop is being filled then immediately we can just watch what happens to that particular level if it is not making profit okay if it is hedged when the hedging is not making profit for 30 minutes that means during that of the stop and or a false move the hedging order got filled so it is not making profit for 10 to 30 minutes then immediately we try to close it with one or two pips profit or five as one or two pips loss or five pips loss and keep another hedge order 30 pips away and try to move it to that of the original hedge order level so this way we try to use the hedge to find the market pulse okay it is only they have done the stop and or a false move or an extended move sometime they make an extended move and hold and later on you find that below that they are not going it then you find your hedging is filled and hedging is making profit and loss alternatively in that case you keep stop at entry and close the hedging or book profit in the hedging and then when the new low is not been breached for 30 minutes you book profit in the hedge in nominal 2 3 pips or 5 pips profit and keep another hedge order 30 pips below and move it to the other original hedge level then if the hedging is making profit continuously for more than 30 minutes that means market is going against as a matter let them go against and we have got the hedge order to limit the risk so our equity is not going to erode and if they continuously drop then watch how far they drop and once they form the new low and not breach the new low for more than 30 minutes book profit on the hedge side then keep another 30 pips below a hedge order and once they start gaining the level move the hedge order upward along so if you use the stop you don't get this privilege if you use the hedging order and, and this is available in all the platform excepting some of the us trading platforms so try to use the hedging order to earn on either side of moves of the market and also to limit the risk and the event if it is hedged or you do not know what to do with that and does not matter you can close the original position with the hedge so that you accept 30 pip loss similar to that of keeping a stop instead don't keep a stop which is about 70 pips or 90 pips away from you away from the entry in the event if they drop and fill your hedge you were stop then you will incur a huge loss because many people think that if you keep a wide stop and thinking that the risk reward okay 90 pips risk and 270 pips reward fine one is to three ratio but 90 pips is filled first nobody answers to this question if it is filled first you lose 90 pips straight whether you will be able to afford to lose that much money you have to question yourself so everything when you talk theoretically it might look scientific and sensible but practically when you apply it then you come across the difficulties if you use the hedging then you can do either way trading if they drop book profit and again on the buy side book because at the lowest level we don't feel like do sell and buy trade instead you can take a buy take a hedge order in the event if the hedge is filled try to book profit on the hedge side now that is more easier rather than doing a sell and buy trade because if you do do a sell and buy trade you become bearish and you become bearish and try to sell during the drop or after the drop you happen to be the last man to sell in the market after the drop then finally find that you become a fool in the market they reverse the market so don't get trapped like that emotionally 
so simply i can say that control your emotion control your emotion and control your emotion whenever you miss opportunities in the market two three times by being calm and patient the next time your emotion is triggered and you go in for that sort of trade so if you want to really control your emotion drink enough water and distract yourself with watching the market and the chart especially the big candles and because they would have done only about 12 pips 13 pips move but the big candle formation would have triggered your emotions and later on you see that okay now in the case of gpp we are able to keep stop at entry and it has gone about it has gained about 16 pips or 17 pips and euro also which is at the entry level i have forgot to look into that of they are not come down in the case of vm they are simply holding it let it be and if it is filled then i'll take it and in the case of canadian dollar also they are not dropped it will wait for a small dip to happen and later on i'll try to enter and show you the results during that of the part 2 of the webinar so i'll explain more with regard to the trading strategy during part 2 of tracking the forex market together webinar between 14 and 1445 gmt during the early us session i'll show it i do it at the time i will review the earlier trades what i just entered and show the results and also in the event if it is hedged how i handle it i'll explain to you so kindly track the market from 845 to 14 gmt and come back i'll give you more thought process for you to understand how we have to outsmart the players there is no point in becoming victim to that of the other human being just because they have got the muscle power it doesn't mean they have to win all the time if you are smarter and intelligent you should also be in a position to earn when you trade along with them you cannot fight against them but we can trade along with them okay there are two questions i'll try to answer to those questions the mrc according to the forecast low as 2950 Okay, thirty to fifty, but we came hundred pips low. Yes, they have made an extended downward move, but it does see one point two nine five zero was arithmetically derived low, and from there they just made the drop. I told you that they are all the levels estimated, and we have to initiate buy and sell trade from there. And even if the hedging is making loss, I mean profit, we book profit on the downside in the hedging, but we don't do sell and buy trade. that is why the estimated levels are given then uh, the low today is 1.2860 probably uh, will be tested again so we have to see practically no let us not assume that they will uh, many people you know they used to ask me whether the low is in no nobody can give a guarantee that the low is in because if the players find plenty of stops below the low about 2 3 pips they can hit it no because nobody can prevent them doing it and there is no point in simply asking somebody whether the law is in unless and otherwise i am god i will not be able to give a reply to that the long we took should be closed after european session close yeah by late european session we have to close the long position it is a session wise trade so during the early session we enter and because they handle the majors at that time during the mid session they handle the crosses and during the late session again they handle the majors at the time we will try to book profit in the majors so i'll explain to you after showing the results how we continue to trade like this so come back by 14 gmt i'll explain to you more about the trading strategy this is time monitor the market using the live market code page then you will find it is much easier to understand the market using the live market code page rather than complicating ourselves with the charts the charts and other statistical studies will work very well if the market is not manipulated so wish you happy trading come back by 14 gmt we will continue to discuss thank you one and all